Good morning. So I'm I'm out for a wander, just picking some greens for my dinner. Um, and looking for some wild herbs as well. And I've come across this and I think it's a, a useful thing to show you. Um, I'm gonna try and cover as many of this family as I can over the course of these videos. Um, it probably will take a year or so altogether because I don't have all of them growing in my local area. But this is the, the most common one that we get here. And this is cow parsley or Anthriscus sylvestris. Um, and people are worried and rightly so about getting this family wrong and this is particularly one of the ones that that comes up a lot because superficially it does look quite a lot like hemlock um, as you get to know these plants and you get to know what the most important features to look at on them it becomes a lot easier to split them and and it will stop being quite so worrying um, but that's what I'm here for so we're going to look at, at individual features on this plant um, Firstly, the way it grows. So Apiaceae often grow like this. They grow from a, an almost central point, almost they're coming up from a big root. So uh, all coming stems out from the middle. And then let's pick these leaf stems. Oh, because it's quite early in the season, these, we only have leaf stems. So flowers come later and I will do uh, a video on the flowers of this when it's up. But for now, this is a really nice time of year if you're going to eat it. I mean, it, opinions are split on this as to whether it's worthwhile or not. I quite like it in a herby sauce or dressing mixed in with other herbs. But it's not like parsley. Um, it definitely has its own flavour and not everyone enjoys it that much. Um, so the stems on Apiaceae are our most important feature to look at. Um, often stem joins and, and petioles and things like that but on this one just the stem itself is quite distinctive so if we look up close can you see it's got lots and lots of little hairs and it's got ridges as well going up and down the stem also has this kind of depressed groove almost like a, a low-key celery stick celery also part of Apiaceae family um, and it can be anything from purple to green, but it won't be splotchy. So uh, you can see, here we go, nice example. This one fades in from purple to green and back out to purple again as you go up. But at no point is it a green background with purple splodges on it. So hemlock, Conium maculatum, uh, has a stem that firstly is cylindrical and smooth, which is different from this. It also uh, looks like someone's splashed red paint, like flicked it on a, a green background. So again, quite different from this. Um, the leaves are very, very similar superficially. I think they look more kind of geometric almost. These are softer, rounder edged. Um, and the leaves on Conium maculatum tend to look almost like slightly aztec -y, that real like, like they tessellate together somehow. Um, or fit in, a, in an almost geometric pattern. They are very similar in structure, but they just have a different feel about them. It's slightly difficult to pick up and, and quite difficult to describe, it turns out. Um, but they are, they are a bit different, but the stems are definitely the thing to look at when we're trying to identify. Um, the smells are also quite different. So this one has a, a really herbal, grassy, herby kind of smell to it. Um, Conia maculatum is famous for smelling a bit like mouse wee. Um, so if you don't know what that smells like, go and find some mouse wee. Um, but not, not a pleasant smell, let's say. <laughs> um, so yes, at this time of year, while they're, they're this big, when they're a bit smaller than this, it can be quite difficult because the stems haven't necessarily developed well enough to easily look at. But at this time of year, I think it's relatively easy to tell that you have uh, cow parsley. And, uh, and then you can play with trying it. If you're not certain, um, always err on the side of caution with this one, just in case. There's a wonderful group on Facebook called Know Your Carrots Apiaceae Identification. Um, and the, the expert admin there are particularly good at, at differentiating between Apiaceae and are really happy to help you do that. Um, do like and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate your help in growing my audience. And it's a, uh, establishing the, the channel and enjoy your foraging. It's a really lovely time of year to be out.